And Jesus, who is the Word of God, will reveal that. So what I used to tell my boys, and I'm telling you, you need to get a Bible and you need to read it. I have a saying, no Bible, no breakfast, no Bible, no bed. That means you don't eat breakfast in the morning until you're read from the Word of God, and you don't go to bed at night until you're read from the Word of God. So when I was teaching that once to my boys, I said, no Bible, no breakfast, no Bible, no bed. One of the kids raised his hand, and I go, what? And he says, Father, I don't eat breakfast. No Bible, no breakfast, no Bible, no lunch. I don't care how you do it, but you need to spend time reading God's holy word. Now, the best way to do that, just trust me on this, would you? You take the Bible and you put it next to your bedstand. You all have bedstands now, don't you? And as you take and you read this word, you keep it next to your bedstand, and then before you get out of bed in the morning, you sit there and you pray the Holy Spirit and you say, Spirit of the living God, speak to my heart your word. And then you open up the word of God and then you slowly start reading it until God takes a two by four and whacks you over the head. Then stop, listen, and then respond. I promise you, God will say something to you every day. And whatever he says to you, put it on a piece of paper. Write it down, put it on a paper, piece of paper and put it in your pocket. And then pull it out throughout the whole day. Now you're in a dialogue with God. But the first place is I want you to start is in Mark chapter 1, verse 11. Now, gentlemen, can you remember this? It's very simple. One, one, one. Can you remember that? One, one, one. Mark chapter 1, verse 11. And this is a great place for you to start because this is where it starts. Jesus is begin before he begins his ministry, this is where he begins. And in Mark chapter 1, verse 11. It's the baptism of Jesus. And we get into the baptism of Jesus, it's very clear, it says, when the sky opens up, the Spirit descends upon Jesus, and God the Father says, you are my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. 